Ukraine is a country that many are discussing now for the unfortunate Russian-Ukraine War of 2022. Despite the focus on the war, many do not realize that not only does Ukraine has an interest in a complex history, but an amazing facts such as the origins of the Christian tradition of the Easter egg. Ukraine is the second largest country in Europe after Russia. Its land area is slightly smaller than the state of Texas. To the west lie Poland, Romania, and Moldova. To the east is Russia. Belarus is to the north in the Sea of Azov and the Black Sea to the south. The capital and the largest city, Kyiv, is located on the Dnieper River in north-central Ukraine. The rest of the country is fertile plains and plateaus, although the Crimean Peninsula in the southern part of Ukraine is mountainous. There are 45 million Ukrainians, which make up more than three-fourths of the population. Russians continue to be the largest minority, though now they constitute less than one-fifth of the population. The remainder includes Belarusians, Moldovans, Bulgarians, Poles, Hungarians, Romanians, and Gypsies, and other groups. The Crimean Tartars were forcibly deported by the Soviet government to Uzbekistan and other Central Asian republics in 1944, began returning to Crimea after the fall of the Soviet Union. Ukraine has a history extending for hundreds of years. Various parts of the area that is today Ukraine were invaded and occupied in the first millennium BCE by the Sumerians, Scythians, and the Sarmatians. In the first millennium CE by the Goths, Huns, Bulgars, Avars, Khazars, and Magyars. Slavic tribes settled there after in the fourth century, and Kaliv was the chief town. The Mongol conquest in the mid-13th century decisively ended Kievian power. From the 14th to the 18th century, Lithuania, Poland, and Russia ruled portions of Ukraine. In addition, the Cossacks controlled a self-governing territory known as the Hetmanate. In the aftermath of World War I and the Russian Revolution of 1917, most of the Ukraine region became the Republic of the Soviet Union, though parts of Western Ukraine were divided between Poland, Romania, and Czechoslovakia. By the end of the war, the borders of the Ukrainian SSR had been redrawn to include the Western Ukrainian territories. In Moscow, the hammer and sickle is lured for the last time, and an era comes to an end. I am ceasing my activities in the post of President of the USSR. The tricolor banner of the Russian Republic now flies over the Kremlin. When the Soviet Union began to unravel in 1990-1991, the legislator of the Ukrainian SSR declared sovereignty July 16, 1990, and then outright independence August 24, 1991. With the dissolution of the USSR in December 1991, Ukraine gained full independence. The country changed its official name to Ukraine, and it helped define the Commonwealth of Independent States, an association of countries that were formerly Republic of the Soviet Union. Ukraine is a country known for its beautiful and diverse landscapes, well-preserved culture and tradition, and the terrible nuclear disaster. Many people do not know that much about Ukraine, other than its flag and conflict with Russia. So here are 10 less known and interesting facts about Ukraine. There are multiple abandoned ghost cities in Ukraine. In Ukraine, abandoned cities exist not only in Chernobyl exclusion zone, but in several abandoned and depressed towns in post-Soviet Ukraine. The population of Pripyat before the Chernobyl accident was almost 50,000 inhabitants. But on April 27, the day after the disaster at Chernobyl nuclear power plant, from the beginning of the temporary evacuation, the city's life has stopped. Nowadays, this city is gloomy with empty high-rise buildings, hospitals, stadiums, shops, a park with attractions, a cinema, and a house of culture. It is hard to imagine that these city streets were filled with people in courtyards and parks. The satellite of the famous Dugo One radio station is located in the forest of Chernihiv district near the village of Rozlohev. Dugo One is one of the three Soviet over-the-horizon radar stations. This radar system was developed in the Soviet Union in the 1950s during the Cold War. The radar station was hidden in a force together with the secret military town of Chernobyl II. The entire population of the town was evacuated after the Chernobyl disaster. Today, the site is still abandoned and only visited by guards and tourists. The radar in Lubeck was demolished in 2000. Orbit is a populated place by any designation in Cherkasy Oblast of Ukraine. It was originally designed to become a satellite town of a planned nuclear power station. The construction was officially canceled before the fall of the Soviet Union. Nevertheless, it has a population of 120. Ukraine on Saturday commemorated the 86th anniversary of Holodomor, the Great Famine. 
All over the country, Ukrainians lit candles in the memory of the millions killed by Stalin's collectivization program that left entire farming communities without food. Ukraine has been a country of several invasions and dark periods in history. As early as the 1930s, as many as 4 million Ukrainians were killed during the Holodomor genocide. The Holodomor genocide was a famine that lasted from 1932 to 1933. There were allegations that it was man-made and made worse by Stalin of Russia. It has been reported that complete villages of Ukrainians died and repopulated by Russians and outsiders during the reign of the Soviet Union. To celebrate the 300th anniversary of the Constitution of uh, Philip Orton, I think it's a great day for us to come in together and celebrate one of the oldest constitutions in the world. Many may incorrectly assume that the first constitution was in the United States, but it was in Ukraine. In 1710, a Ukrainian Cossack leader named Pilot Orlik wrote what is considered the world's first constitution. This constitution that was written in Ukraine set forth three branches of government and stressed certain values. For example, the first constitution emphasizes the value of equality, human rights, and free elections. Orlik's constitution and government predates the United States constitution by 77 years. A less known fact, but the deepest subway tunnel in the world is in Ukraine. During the Russian and Ukraine conflict of February 2022, the deep subway stations are being used as bomb shelters. The world's deepest metro station is called Arsenelna. This station is located along key Saivato Shainasko Bravaska train line in the city. In terms of measurements, the station itself is at 105.5 meters or 344 feet below ground. The construction of this subway took place in the 1960s during the Cold War era in Ukraine. The goal of the subway was also to protect people from the threats of bombs, especially nuclear attacks. The word Ukraine comes from the word meaning borderland, which was a Slavic word that referred to the Kievan and Rus border territories. The word Ukraine originated from the Hypatian Codex in 1187. It first appears in historical documents around 11th to 12th century, and world maps by the 16th century. The largest airplane in history was built in Ukraine and destroyed in 2022. The Antonov AN-225 Dream or Inspiration was a strategic airlift cargo aircraft designed in the 1980s by the Antonov Design Bureau in Soviet Ukraine. It was originally developed as an enlargement of the Antonov AN-124 to transport boring class orbiters. After successfully fulfilling its military missions, the aircraft was grounded for eight years. It was then renovated and reintroduced into commercial operations with Antonov Airlines, carrying oversized payloads. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, the AN-225 held several records, including the heaviest aircraft ever built and the largest wingspan of any aircraft in operational service. The AN-225 was destroyed in the Battle of Antonov Airport during the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. It's one of the most photographed places in Ukraine. Visitors travel from around the world to see the famous tree tunnel running through the small western town of Kleven. The Tunnel of Love is a 3.1 mile semi-abandoned railway line in Kleven, northwestern Ukraine noted as being one of the most romantic places on earth. This enchanting natural railway tunnel is surrounded by green arches formed by trees on both sides of a single track railway line. It's thousands of years old, started in pre-Christian times as a spring ritual to bring the sun back after a long winter. And then when Ukraine adapted Christianity in the 10th century, the symbols were changed to fit the Christian religion. The Easter egg tradition of Christianity originated in Ukraine. One of Ukraine's most famous Easter traditions is the Paisanka, an intricately decorated Easter egg. The origins of Paisanka dates back over 10 centuries and associated with pagan rituals and superstitions. The Paisanka symbolizes the release of the earth from the shackles of winter into spring. The eggs bring a promise of new hope, new life, health, and prosperity. While the symbols have remained through the ages, their interpretations has changed in the act of religious syncretism. In 988 AD, when Ukraine accepted Christianity, the decorating of eggs took on a deeper religious meaning. The Paisanka commemorated the resurrection of Christ and a promise of eternal life. 
They came for the award ceremony for the Peter Yatsik International Competition of Ukrainian Language Professionals. Choosing what to wear was a no-brainer. They all came in Vushivankas. Each one of their shirts has its own unique story. Ukraine has a colorful and decorative national costume. The national traditional costume of Ukraine is beautifully decorative and floral. The name of the national costume is Vishivanka, which is decorated with ornamentals and decorative details. There's handwoven embroidery that is meant to be worn by both women and men on various occasions. This traditional clothing symbolizes values and beliefs. For example, Vishivanka and the colors of the clothing represent life journey, eternity, strength, and vital energy. I can start with the fact that Ukraine is home to seven UNESCO World Heritage Sites in places like Lviv, Chernovitsi, which we uh, saw earlier, and for example, right in Kiev with sites like the Pesharsk Lavra Cave Monastery, that's an incredible complex, or the famous St. Sophia Cathedral, both of those sites date back to the 11th century, so very rich history there. Being a country with a thousand-year history in various cultures, Ukraine is home to seven sites protected by UNESCO World Heritage. St. Sophia Cathedral in Kyiv, Ukraine is an architectural monument of Kievian Rush. The former cathedral is one of the city's best-known landmarks and the first heritage site in Ukraine to be inscribed on the World Heritage List along with Kyiv Cave Monastery Complex. The city of Lviv was founded in the late Middle Ages where a settlement had existed since the 5th and 6th centuries. It flourished as an administrative, religious, and commercial center due to its favorable geographical position for trade and political development. Today, the surviving architectural and artistic heritage reflects a synthesis of Eastern European traditions influenced by those from Italy and Germany. The Struve Arc is a chain of survey triangulations stretching from Hammerfest in Norway to the Black Sea through 10 countries in over 1,753 miles. These are points of a survey carried out between 1816 and 1855 by the astronomer Friedrich Georg Wilhelm Struve, which represented the first accurate measure of a long segment of a meridian. This helped to establish the exact size and shape of the planet and mark an important step in the development of Earth sciences and topographic mapping. The primeval beach forests of the Carpathians include 10 separate massive locates along the 115 mile long axis from the Rakhiv Mountains, the Chornohora Ridge in Ukraine, over the Polonini Ridge to the Vihorlat Mountains in Slovakia. The ancient beach forests of Germany included five locations covering 10,850 acres and were added in 2011. Primeval beach forests of Carpathians cover areas of Zakopatia and Presho regions. Over 70% of the site is located in Ukraine. The residents of Bogovinian and Dalmatian metropolitans represent a masterful synergy of architectural style built by Czech architect Josef Havalka from 1864 to 1882. The complex expressed architectural and cultural influences from the Byzantine period onward and embodies the powerful presence of the Orthodox Church during the Habsburg rule, reflecting the Austro-Hungarian Empire policy of religious tolerance. Situated in the eastern fringe of Central Europe, the transnational property numbers a selection of 16 churches. They were built of horizontal wooden logs between the 16th and the 19th centuries by the communities of Orthodox and Greek Catholic faiths. The churches bear testimony to a distinct building tradition rooted in Orthodox ecclesiastic designs interwoven with elements of local tradition and symbolic references to their communities. The site features the remains of a city founded by the Dorian Greeks in the 5th century BC on the northern shores of the Black Sea. It encompasses six component sites with urban remains and agricultural lands divided into several hundreds of chora, rectangular plots of equal size. The plots supported vineyards whose productions were exported by the city, which thrived until the 15th century. The site features several public building complexes and residential neighborhoods, as well as early Christian monuments alongside remains from stone and Bronze Age settlements. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Which unknown facts surprise you the most about Ukraine? Let us know in the comment section below. Before we leave, please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to share the video with your friends and family. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.